Yo, it's your boy here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And follow me on my Instagram, Gangster Times underscore official. And also hit me up on Snapchat. Type in the search box, Gangster Times. Gangland hitman Lawler, a 35-year-old father of three from Dublin, was behind the brutal murder of 17-year-old Kimo Reedy Woods in Drogheda. And Lola was also the chief suspect in four other gangland murders and he had involvement in at least several other attempted murders. Lola was described as one of the most volatile, dangerous and psychotic killers Ireland had ever seen and he was shot several times at close range. Sources believe he had travelled to Belfast with two members of a gang to collect money owed by a Belfast criminal over a drugs debt. The, this is believed to have been a setup, and the intention was for Lola to be executed when he attempted to collect the money from the drugs debt and he was shot at point-blank range outside a house and then stumbled and collapsed in the front garden of another house. A local man came to his aid, but later told officers the victim was bloodied and not breathing. So two of these gangsters and another man were arrested shortly afterwards in the vicinity of the murder scene. A fourth man was arrested by police in the early hours of yesterday morning. So in my next video, I'm going to give you an update with regards to where the investigation is currently at, which gang members have been caught, and what's currently the situation. However... What I want to concentrate on now is who is Robbie Lawler. So for those of you that came through to my channel, some were questioning who is Robbie Lawler, what's his history. So I've tried to do a quick snapshot of who this individual is. And a close source to Robbie Lawler gave a little insight on this individual. So he stated that Robbie Lawler was as bad as they come. Not only was he a gun for hire, he also killed people who crossed him. He enjoyed it. To call him psychotic, does not do the word justice. He was unpredictable and volatile. He would have kept killing if it hadn't caught up with him. It is now surprised to Gardy that he is now dead. He thought he was untouchable. He stated that Lawler had amassed over 120 criminal convictions, while more than half were for road traffic offences. He had also been jailed for the sale and supply of drugs, over drugs offences, endangerment and handling stolen property. Another source revealed that Lawler got involved in joyriding and other crime in his early teens before he was even 18 and had a reputation for extreme violence. He enjoyed killing and inflicting pain. It is still early days in the investigation, but one theory being closely looked at is that he was set up by the McCarthy and Dundons who went up to Belfast with him on the pretense of collecting a drugs debt, which was all a ruse. One thing we do know for sure, a lot of people this week are not happy that Robbie Lawler has passed away. So Lola was aligned to the anti-Maguire faction of the Drogheda feud. He was directly involved in the adoption, murder and dismemberment of teenage boy Mulready Woods. And we've seen several videos in circulation on social media of people celebrating the 35-year-old's murder. In October 2018, Lola was stabbed by associates of Cornelius Price and he's a traveller gang boss closely aligned to the Maguire faction of the feud while on remand in Cork prison after getting into an earlier row with Price. Lawler's involvement in the increasingly bitter droider feud intensified when his drug trafficking brother-in-law, Richie Carberry, a senior player in the anti-Maguire faction, was murdered as part of the gang war in November. Within hours of Carberry's murder, a then-imprisoned Lawler blamed Mr Big for the gangland killing in a recorded phone call in prison. So Mr Big, who cannot be named for legal reasons, is also a key player in the feud. Gardi believed Lawler was directly involved in the subsequent brutal murder of young Mulready Woods to send a message to his gangland rivals including Mr Big and Cornelius Price that he was a force to be reckoned with. Lola has a lengthy and bloody criminal past. The first murder he is the chief suspect for is that of a criminal called Mark Byrne in 2005. Four years later Lola is suspected of murdering Darndale criminal David Fred Lynch in another gangland shooting and for those of you that saw that video yesterday of the lady dancing that was David Lynch's mother celebrating the death of Robbie Lawler. And just 10 months after the murder of Lynch, Lawler is suspected of shooting dead his associate Noel Deans on behalf of another Kulak based criminal. In 2018, he is believed to have shot dead his former friend, Kenneth Finn. The murder of Finn made Lawler a major target for Mr. Big's Kulak based gang, as Finn was a good friend of the gang boss. So there's a little bit of insight with regards to Robbie Lawler for those of you guys who are wondering who is this guy and why is this guy getting so much traction on my channel. It's because he was a major player in Ireland with regards to violence, crime, drugs. So I'll keep you guys up to date with anything else that comes off this story. It's the Gangster Times. Keep it locked. Keep it real. 
you get me.